All right, guys. Well, today I start my journey, epic journey here around the Philippines. And I think this is my grab right here. So running a bit light here, but hello, sir. Hello. Good, morning, sir. Good morning. All right, guys, I have about, I think about an hour. I'm running, running a little bit late. I usually like to give myself more time, but this is not my favorite airport and it's a domestic flight. So Air Asia, I'm at uh, the Terminal 2 domestic. So should be fine, but let's go ahead and get checked in here. Okay guys, well for once the self-check-in worked and I don't mean just like in Manila, just about everywhere in the world the self-check-in never works for me. Self-check-in worked, I got through security very quickly and we're at gate 16 here. So going to Ilo Ilo, you probably already know that from the title. And I don't know about you, but I always get super excited about a flight. And when I get through security, I just feel re really, really excited about the rest of the day. So let's go to Ilo Ilo, guys. Boarding time is 10.35 and we have Ilo Ilo. So I don't know if it's, no, it doesn't matter. We're going to Ilo Ilo. This is the domestic terminal. I guess I've been here before because I did fly to Boracay. But I do need to get something to eat. So let's see what they have here in the airport for food options. Hmm, or do I continue my fast? Always a question I have, always a question I have. We got Lola's Bakes. Oh, you can get beefsteak, fried chicken, Laganza, Tocino. Oh, pork Tocino might not be bad right now. Tocino is my, my favorite uh, Filipino food. In the morning, like Tocino with some rice and egg. Ooh, it's my favorite. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, we got 1418. Food Enterprise, same deal, Tocino. Ooh, maybe we go to Tocino, guys. Ooh. Burgers, clubhouse, sandwiches, chicken sandwiches, ham and cheese. Ooh. Pork, so, pork Tocino might have to be it. Also got Cafe France over here. I don't know why I said it like that, but that's how I said it. Guys, I am excited. Tell me, what do I need to do in Iloilo? I'm spending three days there, and then I'm continuing this epic journey through Negros. Hopping on a ferry and then going through Negros. It's gonna be epic, guys. Stay, get get ready, get ready. We got a Krispy Kreme over here. Inga Pura Cafe, interesting. Vin Vin Kiosk. Okay, I don't know if this is interesting to you guys, but is that Ube? Creepy Bat? Mr. Fangs? Mr. Machine? Got the Halloween Donuts. Hello. Good morning. Haunted Halloween Donuts. Oh, no donuts for me. Ooh, I can get a matcha here though. Ube Latte. Look at this. Oh, I might have to get a matcha. Oh, we got a bird in the terminal. We got a bird in the terminal, guys. Okay. Oh, we've got a couple birds in the terminal. Toilets over here. And Mr. Donut, which I think I actually prefer Mr. Donut. Although I gotta say those Krispy Kreme ones look good. Who big crunch? Premium cake donut. Ooh. Ooh, what do I go with, guys? What do I go with? I'm actually feeling high energy here. I had a tea this morning. If you haven't been watching my other videos, I'm going no coffee for 30 days, and it might be forever, who knows? But it's cool, because I think I'm at like week three, something like that, and I can live without coffee. It's been a struggle, but we're good. Guys, I picked up a bottle of water, and I think I'm gonna go with a Krispy Kreme. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. Oh, uh, let's see here. I'll go with, uh, I'll go with this one. All right, let's try this creepy thing. All right, Krispy Kreme, look at this. Creepy thing. It's like cookie. Getting the Halloween mood here. Mm. It's got cream on it. 
I'm gonna have to wash my hands. But oh, this, this is crispy good. All right, well, I guess we're boarding early here. So, yeah, I don't know. It's like 30 minutes early. We'll see what happens. I gotta say, it's been quite a bit since I've taken a domestic flight here in the Philippines. Just going on without a hitch. So, going off without a hitch, whatever that term is, going very smoothly. We've got a 3E here, so we're right at the, right at the front. So, let's go. All right, well, I'm pretty sure that flight took less than uh, 30 minutes, or less than 60 minutes, sorry, less than an hour. Uh, got here 30 minutes early, and yeah. Discover Ilo Ilo for the first time. Now I can't get into my Airbnb for two hours. So. There it is, Ilo Ilo. What a cool name. <coughs> What's the meaning of Ilo Ilo? Do you know? Let me know. All right. Malapan Nagpag Abatsa. Okay. So, ooh, look at this, guys. I'm excited to see what is in Ilo Ilo. Warrior spirits, warrior spirit. So do you see this Love the Philippines? I've, I read recently that the tourism slogan has changed. It used to be, it's more fun in the Philippines, but now it's Love the Philippines. So that is something that I think has recently happened here. I need to actually see where I'm going. But it looks like you've got like a alcohol and stuff there, duty free shop. And what is over here? Terminal waiting area. Well, for the next, I don't know, month plus maybe, I'll be doing planes, trains, ferries, and automobiles. So, let me get up where I'm gonna be going and then I'll take you with me. Well, I think I'm gonna go hang out at SM City Ilo Ilo because, again, I've got two hours to kill here. That seems to be the thing to do. I have to say, it's like 400 pesos to get there via Grab. So, I don't know, must be a long ride. All right, my Grab is over here. Let's go, guys. Hello, sir. All right, well, I just got dropped off here at SM City Iloilo. Looks pretty cool. I think I might try to take one of these if it's going to the right place when I'm done here. I don't think I'm at Mega World, but I'm near. I might be near it. I don't know. I'll have to like figure out the route. It'd be cool to take one of those. There's also jeepneys here that come through. The outside design of this looks really good as you come in here, but oof, all I've had is a Krispy Kreme donut. It's just awful, but hungry so let's get in here oh it seems to be pretty busy guys seems to be pretty busy now tell me what I need to know about Ilo Ilo I do know that this is a pretty developed area in the Philippines there's like a mega world there's a festive walk I'm staying in a Vita one of the Avita condos which there are Avita condos all over the Philippines so all right, when you come in here, you're greeted with the happy holidays. And I'm sure I'll have to go through security here with my bags. Seeing so many American brands, right? When you come in here, you have Pizza Hut, Dairy Queen, Krispy Kreme, Red Ribbon. I don't know about Cher Tea, but it's interesting. I'd like to sit down and have a drink somewhere around where I am, but I guess for now we explore another mall together, guys. This is a really cool design. In my opinion. I like the LEDs going up there. And of course it's all decked out in Christmas music, or Christmas uh, decorations. KFC Creamery. I cannot say I've ever seen that before. I don't know, what is that at KFC Creamery? It's Baro. It's like one of my least favorite pizza places ever. So I've decided to eat at this really cool cafe here. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm out here in the mall. 
It's called uh, Nicolette, and I saw that they have a cheesesteak. If you guys don't know, I grew up 90 minutes outside of Philadelphia, so I love cheesesteaks. And I have not had a cheesesteak in a very long time. So, I'm gonna keep my expectations at bay, but I think I'm gonna get one. It's on a ciabatta roll, which is already not great. But to be fair, it's a cheesesteak sandwich, so it's a little different than a cheesesteak, but... Huh. I'll let you guys know what I think. I also got a matcha latte. So, here we are guys. Ilo Ilo. Got ourselves a matcha latte. Mm. Oh wow. That is so sweet. Wow, I'm like really impressed. Way better than Starbucks. That's for sure. Better than coffee bean and tea leaf, and coffee bean and tea leaf is like one of my favorite matcha lattes. Wow, this is one of the better ones I've had in a long time. It's just, it's like very sugary, but it's obviously very good. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, guys. So look at this. Complimentary bread with uh, balsamic vinaigrette. Are you kidding me? Look at all this bread. Oh, it's warm too. Dude. I mean, can it get any better? Then warm bread in balsamic vinaigrette. Nicolette's Bakery. Nicolette's Bakery. All right, so here's what the cheesesteak looks like. Okay, it's more of a cheesesteak sandwich for sure. But the very nice uh, waitress just asked me for my channel. I guess they all want to know what my channel is, so. Hello if you're watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll let you know how the cheesesteak is right now. Just know that I have very high standards for cheesesteaks. Growing up in uh, Cheesesteak Central in Pennsylvania. The home of the cheesesteak. That's where I grew up. So, let's give it a rip, guys. Okay. okay, so I gotta tell you right off the bat, they did it right. It's cheese, steak, and onions. Nothing more, nothing less. Cheese, steak, and onions. That's exactly what a cheesesteak should be. I have to tell you, they even used a cheese whiz. It's not exactly cheese whiz, but it's it's cheese whiz esque. It's just really good. I am pleasantly surprised. I can highly recommend this place. Wow. All right, I'm gonna enjoy this. This is a real cheese. This is a really good cheese stick. Wow. All right, so we're so we're all getting pictures Hi. together. Hello. That's a picture closer. Hello. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, bye bye. Okay. Yep. Oh my gosh, so nice. I feel like a celebrity, guys. You're welcome. More pictures, guys. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right, guys, have a good day. Oh my gosh. I think like 10 pictures. It was good, good stuff. I know a lot of you don't like that I tip in Asia because it's like not seen as like part of the culture here. But whenever that happens, I always have to leave a tip. Always have to. So, Nicolette. Bye bye. Have a good day. Bye bye. So, good, uh, really good store. And the food was really good. Genuinely, not just saying that because they all took pictures with me. 
really good food and a really good matcha latte. So let's see if I can get to my Airbnb from here. We're off to a great start here in Ilo Ilo. <sighs> what a fun interaction. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can get the bus or a GP or a trike <clears throat> because I feel like that would be fun. But if not, I will take a grab. It's about a hundred pesos for the grab. But uh, yeah, I felt like walking outside. I didn't want to be in that mall anymore just because What's the fresh air? You know how it is when you're on planes, taxis. Ah, the last thing you want to do is be in a mall, be inside. But that was a good mall. So I did. I was reading that Ilo Ilo, Ilo is one of the Philippines' oldest cities, and there's a huge Spanish influence here. So I'm excited to discover what that might look like. And I do think I've left enough room for a beer. So I do think like I'll try to find an outdoor seat. Maybe have a San Miguel apple or something. We'll see. I can also just take one of these taxis. Oh, that was the wrong call, guys. That's where I want to be. I don't know how to get there. Yeah. All right, well, new plan. Maybe go see if one of those taxis will take me. Uh, a Vita Tower 3, uh, 100 pesos? Yeah. Good? Okay. Pretty sure I shouldn't use Grab. I just offered him 100 pesos because that's what Grab said, but it was like a four minute drive. But eh, it is what it is, guys. All right, so here's Tower 3, a Vita. All right, let's get the first look at the room together. So, I am paying, let's close this door here, $29 per night for this room. You know, definitely becoming more affordable as I looked at this trip here to other places in the Philippines, but yeah, smells really good in here, and whoa, look at this care package. Look at this, let me put my bags down. I like that. Let's see here. Oh, it smells really good. Let's see here. We've got Hershey's Kisses, also from Pennsylvania. Hershey, Pennsylvania, again. Grew up very close to that. Um, corn tuna. Okay, we've got cup noodles. Eggnog cookies. Okay, we might have to try those. Even though I'm really full from that cheesesteak. And then we've got drinks here. Wow. Okay, wait, let me see. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so you actually have to buy these. Oh, you have to actually buy these. Ugh, we're good. I'm good on that. I don't have Gcash. Hopefully the water's free. And there's no San Miguel's in here. Yeah, anyway. All right, well, it is what it is. Ooh. Oh, comfortable. Ooh. Definitely very comfortable. Okay, wait, there's supposed to be a chair at this work desk. Oh no. Part of the reason I bought this is because they said there's a sunset view. And also, I'm realizing you're not getting a good photo here. Oh yeah, I can see, I can see how that might be. Interesting. Okay, but also because they have real Wi-Fi, which I need. So I can get these videos out for you guys. Ooh, that's gonna suck. Yeah, not gonna get a lot of light. Well, I'm not gonna get a lot of sleep. <laughs> yeah, whenever we have these types of blind situations here, it's like it, the room never gets dark. That's I gotta get a sleep mask. Anyway, okay. Let's see. The cabinet. Yeah, let's take a look at the B room situation. 
No, really not bad. Really, really, really not bad. Okay. Nice big shower. Perfect. Well, this'll do. This'll do. I have to just make make do with no light or with I have to make do with the uh window not being able to completely close. It won't be dark in here. Like, it just straight up won't be dark in here. I'll have to make do. <sighs> okay. Oh, we also got board games and stuff. Why don't we try the bed here? Oh. Okay, bed is pretty comfortable. Bed is pretty comfortable. I got four pillows, which is great. So, all right. Let's see where the day takes us. Okay guys, well, I messed up. I just realized that I wanted to book an Airbnb near Festive Walk, and this is not Festive Walk. <laughs> oh man, I should have known for $29 a night that this wasn't going to be in the, in the Festive Walk. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of in no man's land. This building is just like, it's not near like anything. So I've got a 20 minute walk. I'm gonna walk down to the river walk and I guess I'll do festive walk tomorrow night and I guess I'm gonna just stay at this hotel. I'll have to just take a grab or something over to festive walk. I guess I could walk there. It would be about a 30 minute walk, but anyway, uh, poor planning on my part. I don't even, as some of you know, I mean, I'm not like necessarily a budget traveler Especially if you watched my podcast on the Savvy Expat, you know, like, I don't always go with the cheapest option for, for whatever reason. The $29 a night Airbnb was tempting me. Yeah. Oh well, this is, uh, this is where I'm at. <laughs> so let's go on a walk, guys. And it is absolutely blazing hot. So this uh, 20 minute walk here to the river walk should be interesting, but I prefer to walk anyway. Hmm, do we go to the coffee bean and tea leaf? No. No, we do not. No, we do not. I do not need that. Yeah, there is a coffee bean and tea leaf. Really nice, really nice sized one. Looks looks good inside. But we also have the 7-Eleven. So it is nice that this is here available. I do need to get a bottle of water. Well, it's nice and clean here, and I'm looking forward to doing the festive walk one night while I'm here. But for now, this is where I am. Let's see if I can get this strike, because you know what? I don't think there's sidewalks here. I don't think there's sidewalks. So let me see if I can do, if I can get to the Riverside Boardwalk. Hello. Hello. Uh, How are you doing? Oh, uh, the Riverside Boardwalk. Riverside. I will show you. Yes, yes, yes. At the boardwalk. Yes. Uh, how much? How many pesos? Riverside Boardwalk. Yes, or here, yeah. Yeah, at the boardwalk. Well, yeah. The boardwalk. Forty, sir. Uh, forty. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Let's do forty pesos. First time in a trike, actually. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank Have you. a good day. Have a good day. Uh, just right down here. Yeah, okay. Night. Okay, thank you. That was fun. That was my first uh, trike ride, if you can believe it or not. I think I've spent three months in the Philippines total and I've never taken a trike, so. Okay, so I've been told that the river is right here, Esplanade. Reminders from Healthy Lifestyle Partnership. No bicycle roller. Okay. All right. Wow, this looks super nice. 
and clean. Merry Christmas. I think I saw one sign say we're 62 days away. All right, look at the Spanish influence here, guys. Which is what I was reading, you will see all over Iloilo. I believe, I believe. I mean, I think this is what I'm seeing. I don't know. I, I don't mean, I don't know if I'm speaking out of turn here, but I do believe. Well, let's see if I can read before I read something before I go off on it. Uh, it's hard to read that. Oh, no, no, I believe this is a tribe. Yeah, this is a tribe before the Spanish came in. Okay, well here is, let's take a look at the river. And then the boardwalk seems empty, but maybe it'll get busier later at night. I'll be with the loser. People fishing down here. Nice bridge. Let's keep looking, guys. Nice umbrellas. This reminds me of other places in, uh, gosh, where did I see this? I think Malaysia, in the Chinatown, I believe. And you know what? Actually, San Francisco as well, I remember. Oh, very nice. Really, really nice looking. Okay, frontliner vehicle. Seems to be well equipped. Bathroom, got some trash cans around here so I won't have a problem throwing this out. And let's take a nice stroll across the riverfront walk here. I think I remember how to get back to the boardwalk. Okay. Ilo Ilo, I think, is a pretty desirable place. I think that's primarily because of the festive walk, which is one of, it's like a mega world development. Mega world taking over the world, as I say. But, uh, yeah. And there's also like, like, I don't know if I got it on footage, but when the trike was taking me here, there's like also other like kind of nice areas that have like sit, sit down restaurants and places that you sit out and eat and drink a beer and whatever. And I think I'll try to hit that up tonight before I'm done here. I'm good on food, but a drink, I think I can do a drink. But anyway, so what do you think guys? Tell me about your thoughts on Ilo Ilo. So far, my first impression is this is really modern. Now, tomorrow, I believe tomorrow, I'm gonna, going to go into Ilo Ilo proper, like city proper. And yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll do it today. See what's down there. I don't know, maybe. I feel like there's still a lot of time left, but you know how I'm rambling, but you know how when you have like a travel day, the day kind of just seems to slip away from you. It's like 4 p.m. But yeah, I might go into Ilo Ilo proper either tonight or tomorrow. Depends on what I do after this walk here. Ilo Ilo proper, I believe, is like the older area of Ilo Ilo. Oh, look at this. We got like a pizzeria. Oh, nice. Hey, you have riverside restaurants here. Cool. Shabu Shabu. Okay. Wow, it is quiet, it's eerily quiet. I'm sure most people are still at work, but yeah. Or maybe I just really messed up in the happening places and festive, festive walk. It's quite enjoyable. This walk, I will definitely say that. Tande, Ta Tuande? Oh yeah, Tande, the number one's the world's number one rum. Yeah, I know that's popular here. Tande. Interesting. The noi, the no littering. <laughs> Gosh, speaking right now. The no littering is sponsored by Tande. I don't think I can go down there. Uh, this is this a smart idea? Um, maybe not. Maybe not the smartest idea. Okay. We move on. Oh, I feel like I'm being watched. I don't know if you just saw, but there's like a camera or something up there. Lights flashing? I don't know. Yeah, maybe not the smartest idea. I believe this is also on this side is Marsh River. I believe. Okay, just getting to the end of the boardwalk here. See this, I am Ilo Ilo. Nice. 
And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go walk over to Molo Church. Because I feel like that's something I just want to go see real quick while I'm over here. This seems to be like a cool little shop. Probably get some like snacks and stuff here. Or maybe it's a restaurant. I'm not sure, but I love the design. I say Ilo Ilo has got a really cool just like aesthetic with how everything around here is designed. Really cool attention to detail in the city. And <laughs> really, really clean. So let me see here. Is there a footbridge that I can avail? <laughs> Uh, I've been using the word avail because it's just funny everybody in the Philippines uses the word avail and I've never heard anybody use that phrase as much or really at all until I came to the Philippines so let me see I can avail a pedestrian bridge here good okay and I will avail <laughs> uh, I'm teasing you I'm teasing you okay level up elo elo that's what it says a level up elo elo it's like uh, medical city Ilo Ilo. I guess this is where you would go if you take a trike and get hit by a bus or something. Hello. Nice river. Nice, nice river to walk by. Hello. Okay, this is called the Carpenter Bridge. Named after Governor Frank Watson Carpenter. I think it's a bit overcast today. In 1900, he served as secretary to the military governor, General Arthur MacArthur. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, there's a ton of history, it feels, in this region. Like, a ton. Also, take a look at how the bridge is designed. These are like puzzle pieces. Super cool. Level up Elo Elo. What that means. Molo churches or what is it called? Did I just keep walking this way? I think I do. Okay, that's the other side of the river walk, I guess. And we're gonna go here. Hopefully there's a sidewalk this time. Some street food here. Yeah, okay, sorry, sorry store. Bunch of sorry, sorry stores. Actually, got the Ilo Ilo bus, the series tours. The jeepneys here look different in Ilo Ilo. They look completely different. Hello. Yeah, I want to try to get on one of those. I just need to figure it out. Like in Cebu City, the jeepneys are connected into Google Maps, but uh, I don't know about here. So. We'll have to see. But, uh, hey. What's up, Kuya? How are you? Ah. Big shop. Okay. This is fun, guys. Kuya, Hi. how are you? Hi. Welcome to my vlog. Hi. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me uh, try to find my way here. All right, we're gonna keep walking straight. Hey, bro. How are you? So many jeepneys, guys. It's like uh, people are waiting. Waiting for a bus or a jeep in here. Oh, Malaysian dishes. Nice. Nasi garang. I'm sure you can get nasi garang in there. Yeah, nasi garang. Nasi garang pattaya? Is that a uh, Malaysia Thailand infusion? Interesting. Oh, whoa. This church looks insane. I think it's a church. Wow, this building looks insane. It looks incredible. Right, I'm going to just follow the locals here to get across. Oh, I feel good. I feel excited, the guys. The energy is up right now. Of course, you can always find a Chow King in the Philippines, along with the Mong Inasol. I think we got somebody directing traffic here. Our savior. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh my gosh. Ilo Ilo, man. I'm loving it here. Ah, I'm sad I only booked three days. Maybe I should have stayed more. Got some stars dangling from the trees. Hi. And let's 
check it out here. What is this called again? Let me let me just make sure. I know what this is called. Molo Mansion. It's not a church. It's a mansion. Molo Mansion. Maybe there is a religious undertone here. Okay, I don't know. I have not looked up the history of this, but it just seems like this is something I should check out. And we got a cool like square here in the middle, but this mansion looks insanely cool. I have to tell you, I am gonna take a photo for Instagram. Feel free to give me a follow there. And please do hit subscribe, like, share, really helps the channel grow and allows me to continue making these videos. Take a look at that. Absolutely beautiful. A fountain here in the middle, serves beautiful at night. And an Andox <laughs> chicken, which I have never gone to. But, ah, my heart beats in Elo Elo City. City embraces you. That's what this sign says. My heart beats in Elo Elo City. I love it. Okay. It's like a bunch of kids just getting off of uh, school here. So, yeah, it looks like there's another mansion or something like that over there. I do kind of want to read what the sign is. Hello. But um, I'm actually more interested to read what this is about. Hey bro, what's up? Oh, it's in, um, it's in Tagalog. Ooh, maybe I can uh, translate. Hold on, let me get my Google Translate out. Let's put it to the test. Okay, we got it guys, we got it. Very nice, so. Ah, it says mansion, Molo Mansion on the maps, but this is actually Church of Molo. First manufactured in something with tile roofs replaced by a temporary church. So it was built immediately after its plan. Okay, so this is indeed a church. I don't know why Google says mansion. Oh no, you know what? No, this is my fault. This is Molo Church, this is Molo Mansion. Over there's Molo Mansion. Let me go check out Molo Mansion. Guys, this is exciting. An exciting time to be alive. Yeah, exciting time to be alive here, guys. In because my heart beats in the Elo, Elo City. That's why it's exciting. All right. I don't think a ton of tourists go here. I could be wrong, but this is very similar to when I was in Bandung, in Indonesia, or even in Kazan City. I don't think a lot of tourists come here, but I think I'm the only tourist I've seen here. But that makes it all the more fun, guys. So we got some classical music playing, which also makes it all the more fun. And here are the scenes on the road here. As you can see, it says Molo Plaza. Okay, so I was curious to see what this meant. And that's what it is. Over here is Molo Mansion. I do want to check it out. Okay, we've got Molo Mansion. I think we got a really nice hello. We got a really nice outdoor restaurant here. It is decorated in Halloween stuff, which I love to see because I've only been seeing Christmas stuff for the last month in BGC. Hi. Looks like we've got uh, all sorts of fruit teas, Miraku. I don't know what Miraku is. Uh, all sorts of stuff, but doesn't this look beautiful, guys? decorated for Halloween. So, I don't know what Maruku is, but I don't see an ube flavor. I wonder if I can go into the mansion. Oh, I guess, can I go in here? Now the mansion is decorated for Christmas. I don't know, can I? I don't want to get in trouble. Ah, I guess I can. Oh, they sell like uh, sunglasses and stuff. You know what? These look really nice. And they're 
their wood sunglasses. What do you think, guys? I mean, I think I look a bit goofy, but they look really nice, like really nice sunglasses. Okay, they're 4,000 pesos, quite expensive. Quite expensive, that's pushing a hundo with those glasses, but. Actually, the wood ones are more expensive than these guys. Oh, they're bamboo sunglasses. Ooh, these are sick. Now this, this I feel like is more of my style. You guys know, I feel like this is more of my style. Those are tempting. like a hog. All right, Let's see if we can't get across here. Oh. We're now outside of the manicured orderly sidewalks of BGC and we're into the real Philippines guys where I will be for who knows minimum three weeks probably over a month but who knows there's no time limit I just go with where I want to go. Okay, it seems like uh, this is the most popular spot in town. What's up, bro? How are you? Hey, guys. Hi. Good evening. Okay. Hello. Looks like we've got some nice looking drinks here. Some uh, hot dogs, maybe corn dogs, street food here. Oh. It smells great, like somebody is definitely grilling something somewhere. I don't know where the, the grilling is coming from, but it's coming from somewhere. Hey guys, what's up? Hello. Let's see here, we got some buku juice going on here. And yeah, I'm kind of tempted to get one of those drinks. Hey bro, how are you? Have a good day. Hello, how are you? Good? Badminton? Nice. Hello. All right, have a good day, guys. Bye-bye. Okay. Must be a school around here. Hey. Oh, hi. What's up, guys? How are you? Yeah, we're fine. Good? Yeah. <laughs> what are you Shout getting out into to today? my family, guys. Shout out to your family. Nice. What? <laughs> what an upstanding individual. YouTube channel. What? Yeah, you want to see? Yeah. It's uh, Zane. Can Let me show Zane? you. Shout out okay. my family. Shout out. Oh, Zane. You guys Travel. are good guys. Wow. Zane Travel. You All love right. Ilo Ilo City. It's my first day here. Oh, that's I love good. it. It's very fun. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. All right, guys. Have a good night. Peace. Good luck. Thank you. I mean, to all, for like all of the people you could shout out to, they all, they all did a shout out to their family. Those are nice guys. All right. Ram boys, Ackland's best chicken in Liampo. I gotta say, that looks good. Okay, I must have just gotten here when school is getting out. What's up, guys? Hello. Hello. Bye bye. If you're shy, don't come to Yilo Yilo at this time. <laughs> Okay. Well, what's up, guys? Yo! Welcome to City of Love, though. Thank you. What's your page? Thank you. What's your page? Uh, Zane, travel. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Man, Elo Elo. I might have to just cancel my backlog trip. Cancel Dumaguete. Might have to just stay here in Elo Elo. My God. What's up? Oh, my God. Hello. I feel like I just have to stand here. Hey guys. <laughs> okay. Hello. All right. Let me uh. Let me see. Lugger. Yeah. 
Uh, do you want to see my page? Sure, sure. Uh, Zane Travel. Okay. Can I take a picture, bro? Yeah, of course. Dang, where are you from? Uh, America. Oh, nice country, bro. Thank you, you too. Nice country, you too. It's from. All right, bro. Take Have care. a good day. All right, man. Bye bye. bye bro. Hey, bro. Hello, how are you? All right, let's uh, get the map up here. Boy. I think we go this way. I am like beyond distracted right now, but in the best way. Hello. Hey. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh my goodness. What's up, man? I have to say, this is the most fun I've had in a province in the Philippines so far, without question. Hey guys, hello. Have a good day. Bye bye. What's up, man? Hey, how what's up, man? <laughs> what's up? What's up, guys? Hello. Hey guys. Hey, hey, hey. hey guys. Hey, hey. hey guys, what's up? Standard. Have a good day. I'm gonna keep walking this way. This is what it's gonna be. Hello. 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 Have a good day. Hello. Man, I don't know. I still haven't seen a school. What's up, guys? I still have not seen a school, but I see people walking home from school this whole time. Like, you guys have experienced this. What's up, guys? Hello. Hey, guys. Hello. What's up? Hello. Have a good day. Bye bye. What's up, guys? All right, leave me hanging. It's cool. Hello. Okay, okay. Amigo. Amigo. Hello, Kuya. Oh, uh, Kuya. <laughs> okay. I think he wants me to come over, have some food. What's up? Okay, okay, coming. Hello. Hello, Kuya. How are you? What do we have here? Barbecue? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Let's see here. Where you from? Uh, America. Ah, you, yes. Yes, America. Yes. First time in Iloilo. Uh, first time in Iloilo. Yes. Iloilo? Good. Good. It's so people. friendly. Everybody is so nice. Yeah, the people is friendly. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay, brother. Iloilo city of love. It's what? City, city of, of love. love. Ah, okay, okay. The people is friendly. So friendly, yes. Yeah. Yes. Were you in the army before? Uh, US Army. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. this, that's uh, my country. Yeah, this uh, shirt, uh, his, friend. Friend, his friend is a US, US, Army. US Army. Okay, very good, very good. That's why I uh, sent that t shirt here. Okay, very good. Hey. All right, hello guys. Hey, guys. How are you? Welcome. 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 What's your uh, name in? Uh, yeah, let me, let me show you. Me? Zane Travel. Uh, Zane Travel. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It was great meeting you. I'm All right. Me. Have a good day. Yeah, yeah. Bye bye, guys. Hello. 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 Hey. Shout out. Okay. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Hello. This is like the cutest experience. What's up, guys? Hello. Elo Elo! <laughs> Alright. Hello. Hello. What's up, bro? <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Hello. So I couldn't do chicken right now, okay? Couldn't do it. Wasn't in the mood for it. But I. Hello, guys. But very friendly guy, if you're watching, thank you for inviting me over. Thank you. Hey guys. Hey bro. Woo. Hello. Have a good day. What's up guys? Me too. Okay. Have a good day. Bye bye. Hello. Oh my gosh. This is a video in and of itself guys. Hey guys. Hello. Hey guys. Hello. Hello. Hey. <laughs> hey guys. Is school down there? 
Uh, your school is down there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Let's see if I can see the school. This is like a never-ending line of school children. Okay, there's there's the elementary school. There must be must be a school around here. Another one. Molo Elementary School. You are very kind students. Hey guys. <laughs> you are very kind students at Molo Elementary School. I have to tell you. Hey guys. Hello. Look at this beautiful tree. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, Lighthearted fun guys. What's up? This must be the high school here. What's up guys? Hello. 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 This must be the high school. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Well, I'm not going to go in there because that'd be weird, but seems to be the source <laughs> of this entire video. Hello, bro. Hey, bro. Absolutely incredibly beautiful, guys. Absolutely incredibly beautiful. What's up, guys? Oh, my gosh. Smiliest, friendliest people I think I may have ever met today. No joke. Not hyperbole. Wow. And this is where the Kuya dropped me off in the trike. Still fishing. And I think we go over to the boardwalk now. Wow. An absolutely incredible day here in Iloilo. Hard to beat this. All right, so here's the Riverside boardwalk. And I believe I saw the outside of this. Yeah, I definitely saw the outside of this. So these seem like more like restaurants. What I want to do is sit outside and have a drink. So, yeah. I think there's a place up here called like Smallville Complex. I saw that might have some pubs or something. So this is part of the Smallville Business Complex, I guess. There's Smallville co Coffee. And then I saw these on the way in. The Avenue. Oh, it looks really cool here. That might be where we go. It's all lit up. The Avenue. You know, a lot of people. Oh, that's called Bourbon Street. Yeah, that might be. That might be where we settle. A lot of people have seen. Oh, stray dogs. Okay. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. I do have my tetanus or my my rabies vaccine, but and my tetanus. But yeah, a lot of people like. To talk about Iloilo as a potential destination, you know, outside of uh, places like BGC in the Philippines, in uh, Manila, and you know, Cebu City IT Park. Apparently, Iloilo is also a big one, and I can see why. So there's the lounge bistro. No, li literally, like nothing is open. I mean, like everything's open, but like there are literally no patrons. 5 p.m. People work hard here in Iloilo. Clearly. I think it's also Tuesday. Yeah, it's also Tuesday. So that has to have a factor. But it seems like this can get pretty rowdy. Lots of outdoor seating and stuff. Got some strays here. It seems to be the alpha. Lots of stray dogs. But this avenue place seems pretty cool. Bourbon Street. I think I showed you it from the outside but yeah I think you saw it I think I'll go here to Tigo Lounge Bistro since I'm just looking for a beer thank you how much do I owe you it's 100 100 okay here you are thank you very much thank you 100 for San Miguel that is amazing that is incredible that is a hell of a deal wow it's hard to find them this cheap Boy, does it taste good. So I'm gonna sit here and people watch, which is one of my favorite activities of all time. In a small bill complex. Guys, cheers to an amazing first day here in Ilo Ilo. Hello. Hello. Oh. Man, what do I even say? There's 
nothing to say. People are just so smiley and friendly. Ah, it's heartwarming. I think the title of this video might be my heartwarming first day in Iloilo, but we'll see. That's how I feel though. Not gonna lie, Juicy Lucy. Not gonna lie, Juicy Lucy would sound good right now. If you don't know what a Juicy Lucy is, it's a cheeseburger that has, it's a burger that has cheese in the middle of the burger instead of on the outside. I've actually never eaten the Juicy Lucy because actually, if it's not cooked right, it can really mess you up because yeah, you have to cook a patty the whole way through. But uh, apparently they're insane. They just have to be cooked right. What's up, bro? Christie's Music Lounge, good bar? Fun bar? Yeah? Wow, that looks like it could get happening on a Friday night. I think, you know what? We do a little bar hopping. We're in Ilo Ilo, it's the first night. I'm feeling, feeling really good after this video. And oh, looks like we got a rooftop, rooftop bar up there. Looks sick. Tattoo shop. Happy Teas, Karen Karen Daria. What? That is a crazy Karen Daria. Hey guys, how are you tonight? Good? Good? Have a good night. Oh my God, unmatched, guys. Elo Elo is unmatched. See, look. If you didn't watch my video, my apartment search fails. But I'm a signs guy. I believe that everything happens for a reason. I need to get out of the BGC bubble. So, yeah. Hello. Well, I'm glad I came here. You can see this is called the Atria District, Atria Park District. So yeah, got the good old McDo's there. We are in the province. I don't know if you can see, but we have some geckos here on the uh, building. Can you see some geckos? And oh, Bose Coffee. I have not seen one of those since Cebu. And wow, doesn't this area look nice? Just take a little stroll through here, guys. So let's see here. Shops at Atria. So you've got House of Monkeys Cafe, Mage Cafe, all sorts of eateries, and things like that. Hello. Bows down there. Very nice. But actually, I'm sure it's just really nice. It's all lit up, looks good. But uh, actually looking to go to this place called Hideout Bar, because I would like to have another drink. It sounds like kind of a cool place. So let's go. Have to cross here. Might not be a bad time to cross. So I've spent the entire evening here in Iloilo walking around seen two foreigners other than myself. One just walked by, very friendly, very friendly lady. But uh, yeah, I would say if you're doing a Philippines trip, you 100% need to come to Iloilo, like no question. And I haven't even gone to the festive walk yet. You can see this roundabout here, it's like lit up at night. It might start raining pretty hard here, but the sky does look nice. All right guys, let's check out this hideout bar. Oh yeah, this definitely looks my style. Cool, 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 cool. Hello. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, I'd like to just get a drink. Sir? I'd just like to get a drink. Yes, sir. Welcome, okay. sir. Thank you very much, sir. What, what do yeah. you want, sir? Just a beer? Yeah, 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 sir. Okay, sir. Welcome. Oh. Thank you, sir. Oh, got my stamp. Okay, great. All right. So, actually, it's just... What's up, guys? It's like a whole network of bars here. Is this the hideout bar? The whole thing? The whole thing's hideout bar? Okay. Do you have uh, what kind of beers do you have? Okay, yeah, let me see. Oh, okay. San Miguel Apple? Oh, San Miguel Apple. Yeah, I'll do one. Favorite San Miguel apple. Got my San Miguel apple here. Mm. Cheers, guys. 
All right, what an amazing first night here in Ilo Ilo. Cannot wait to discover more. I think I'll do some street food tomorrow. You better watch out for that. Thanks so much for being here, and I will certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.